right, Shalom. I'd like to give all honor and praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Makakadash. Double honor to the elder apostles of the great millstone. Peace and blessings to all you brothers teaching the truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe, underneath the banner and the standards of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, um, you know, we're just going to get straight into it, man, because as you can see, hey, these prophecies are ramping up, man. Things are speeding along, okay? The days are getting shorter, all right? And it's only because the Lord is on his way, truly and, and, and sincerely, man. There's no other reason for it, okay? We got catastrophe after catastrophe happening, okay? Just like the scriptures say, it's going to be great death in these days approaching, all right? Um, and then the time of Jacob trouble is going to be fastly on its hill, okay? And then you got World War Three, all, all set, it's ready to go. It's been happening, but now it's going to be uh, open to the, to the eyes of the public very soon, man. Mm -hmm. There's only so much blaming that these people can do, man, on one another before it's you gotta get to physical violence, okay? Right. Where the world is going to see, because it's already physically happening, all right? right. And then you got a uh, uh, pestilence roaming forth everywhere, okay? STDs are up. Now today, I, I open up the computer, and it's uh, some type of flea-born typhus spreading across Los Angeles. Well, what's Los Angeles got? It's got the biggest homeless population. And see, when you look in history, when you read things about the Black Plague and things like that, man, hey, this, this is what we're talking about. And then further back than that, what you got? You got uh, Egypt itself. Okay? Mm -hmm. So this, this is how you definitely know that these are the last days, man. All right? And we're going to go into a little bit of those uh, prophecies, man. Okay? I got a second. Ezra chapter 15. I'll start at 5. Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. Yeah, and that's what you're saying, okay? Well, from big earthquakes, tsunamis, hurricanes, floods, you know, everything. Everything is, is happening right in front of your eyes to, the, to you uh, children of Israel that's not of the, uh, uh, the faith, so to speak. Well, this is the time to open up your eyes, to open up your ears, man, to get the word in the Heavenly Father, because in that day, he's going to be the only one that can shield you from whatever is oncoming as a destruction from him, okay? Nothing else is going to shield you, man, okay? Not all your cash in the world, not your faith and belief in Buddha, uh, Allah, whatever, God, Shiva, whatever ever you into, that's not going to help you. The real help is coming from the Heavenly Father, which his name is Yahweh, and his son, which is Yahweh Shai. That's right. Okay? Those that's are right. only two names that's going to help you in this day and age. Okay? Right. And those names by itself, it won't help you because you have to have the, the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding for it to be an activation with those names. Okay? Um, if I may add to you can't only be a hero, you have to be a doer. Do 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 um, got another one, uh, Second Ezra chapter 8, verse 61. And therefore is my judgment now at hand. These things have I not shown unto all men, but unto thee, and a few like thee. Then answer I and said, Behold, O Lord, now hast thou showed me the multitude of the wonders which thou wilt begin to do in the last times. But at what time? Thou hast not shown me. He answered me, chapter 9, he answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest parts of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Yeah, so the small, the small uh, group of people or the small remnant that he has shown it on to are the ones that diligently studying the word of the Most High, okay? Right. And following the spirit of the Lord, which is Jehovah man, okay? Those are the men that can see it. The rest of y'all, y'all just aimlessly walking around up and down the street waiting for that plague to hit you or whatever else is coming through the Lord's uh, might, okay? Because it says, 
he shall uh, begin to visit the earth. Okay. Um, if I may add, yeah. uh, you know, to measure the time diligently, like the brother said, right. the Lord has shown his signs and his works of mm -hmm. how he's visited the world. You know, when you go to other prophecies that he's going to bring mm -hmm. uh, earthquakes in various places, diverse places, uh, um, uh, wars and rumors of wars, uh, mm -hmm. famines, seditions among men, mm -hmm. you know, uh, when you see uh, earthquakes and uh, with, uh, uh, storms and tempests, mm -hmm. that's how we know that the Lord is visiting the world. He's showing the signs. So right. you as being uh, in the spirit, because we know the spirit and the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy, mm -hmm. you stand in tune with these scriptures and you're filtering with uh, what's going on in current events throughout the world. So right. we don't actually know the day or time when our big brother Yahweh Shai, who the world enemy called Jesus Christ is going to come, but he's given us signs to be prepared so it won't come as a thief in the night to those of the elect. Mm -hmm. All right. this, is, uh, this is Luke 21 and 11. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines and pestilence, mm -hmm. and fearful sights, and great signs shall there be from heaven. That's yeah. Right. So when you look at all the, the blood moons that we had, the super moons, mm -hmm. okay, the so like eclipse, the uh -huh. eclipse, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? All those uh -huh. things, uh -huh. you know, all those things is what uh, shows the might of the Most High. And he's warning people through those things. You see what I'm saying? When we had the eclipse that X'd out America, that was one of them. Then you know that this place is done, man. Okay? All, every little intricate part of the warning he has uh, started to show that he's coming forth from the earth. What, great storms and tempests? Mm -hmm. What was that, three hurricanes in a row? That's right. Well, That's right. You know? And now, now we about to go through that again, man. That's right. That's right. You see? And there's earthquakes everywhere. Look, on Sunday, it was an earthquake in Hawaii. Two weeks ago, an earthquake in the Indonesia that led to typhoons. So this yep. is all the hands of the Lord, man. Right. When you see hurricanes and all this storm and tempest, man. When you right. go to the word tempest, that's just uh, hurricanes, tsunamis. This is all the hands of the Lord, man. That's right. So... And we know the Lord is the uh, the author of all things, man. He brings the He forms the light and creates darkness. He brings peace and and, and the hate, man. Pretty much. So we all know this is the Lord. This is the hand of the Lord because He's gonna declare the end from the beginning. Right. Right. This, is, this is Luke, twelve, and fifty six. Ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky and of the earth, but how is it that ye cannot discern this time? Hmm. Right. Yeah. Man, that's what's going on, man. You know, people are in the dust, man. Like they're in darkness. They don't understand. So the, uh -huh. the Lord is calling you a hypocrite, man. Because when it's about to rain, you can smell the dew in the air. But the scriptures tell you what's happening and what's going to be happening before the, 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 the before at the end days. Uh -huh. Before the Lord makes his appearance. Man. That's right. right. All right. And, it, and it's all written in his book. So the Lord's like, listen, man, ye hypocrites, man. All right, you, you know all of these other things, but you don't know what's going on in the scriptures. Right? Uh -huh. If I may add too, bro, clearly the Lord is blinding them to that uh -huh. defeat uh -huh. and shoot, man. Because uh -huh. the shoot, like we said all, always before, man, it's our precious, man. It's only for a few, man, a few good men. That's so right. the Lord is right. not going to give uh, this, this uh, precious right. thing right. to unfill the vessel and avoid right. the vessel. Right. So right. us, in this, we are able to, uh, well, man, we are, we are able to... Uh, uh, able to absorb change. the shoe, retain the shoe. Right. That's uh, mercy, man. That's right. why we have to keep on pushing uh, the shoe and like pushing this gospel so that we like in the silver uh, knowledge of Yahweh Hashem, so that Yahweh Hashem can come and set his kingdom. That's right. Yeah. And, and the, Lord, uh, uh, the Lord also, you know, blessed us with the ability to be the watchers, man. To be the watchers of, of, of Israel, man. Yeah. To be the watchers, to be the men, to be the men signing and crying for the abominations thereof. And being on that watchtower ready to blow the horn at every little time, every little thing we see, man. Huh? And so that's what we're doing out here, man. That's right. That's All right. right. Uh huh. I got a preacher, yeah, brother. Yeah, brother. Um, this is on um, Revelation 19, verse, I'll start at 9. Huh. And he says, And he said unto me, Right, blessed are they which are which are called unto the marriage, that's right. and unto the marriage and the supper of the Lamb. And he said unto me, These are the true saying of the Most High. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and and of thy brethren huh. that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Huh. And it says, Worship Yahweh for the testimony of Yahweh Shai 
is the spirit of prophecy. That's right. That's right. That's uh, into the marriage, man. That's right. And that marriage with the lamb is the marriage with Yahweh Shah, man. Uh -huh. and, and we only get that through the mercy of Yahweh Yahweh Shah, man, putting the, our spiritual fathers, uh, which is the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, right. and to teach us this truth and to have faith in him and believe in him and to mm -hmm. forsake this world mm -hmm. and to prophesy and learn and learn our true nationality and true uh, 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 identity and then go teach, man. And then, right. and when you know you have the spirit of the Lord dealing with you, uh -huh. is when you're dealing with the prophecy. Man. Right, prophecy is is very important, man, right. because prophecy is going to tell us when these times is going to be destroyed, when America is going to be destroyed, man. Right. And we through faith we know it's soon, man, because again it goes through them signs and the wonders that the Lord is showing, is telling us. The, the elect, Lord willing, we the men to measure the time diligently, you know, mm -hmm. and as a be and to be as a duty, as a seer, as a prophet, to be a watchman, you gotta be, you got, you gotta be circumspect, you gotta be in tune to what, what's going on in the world, right. so you can give out that, blow out that trumpet, man. Right. Right. Come, right. Well, this is this. You got one that blow. Um, that's another piece, you bring that up. This is Luke twenty one and twenty five, and there shall be signs in the, in the sun, and in the moon, and right. in the stars. And upon the earth, the stress of nations. See, uh -huh. this happened. This happened uh, a few months ago, a year ago. Blood moons, right. blue moons. Right. Right. These are these are signs right. that's uh, uh, of a biblical proportion. It's been right. spoken of in the right. Bible. Right. People we trying to exp we can't explain this in these other uh, uh, books or philosophies. This is all out of the scriptures, man. Right. And this is what we're supposed to measure the time diligently, man. Right. And again, as our duty as a prophet, as a servant of the Lord, is to give you that warning. Right. That's why you see right. men. Uh, uh, on the highways and hedges week in and week out putting up lessons because we were trying to wipe the blood off our hands but mainly to wake up the elect so we can get out of here because right, right, right. the Lord is showing his signs now we have to take those signs and now prophesy right, right, right. So, um, mm -hmm. I just to add on what the brother say um, and also to bring the end man That's right. This, this, you know, the end won't come it won't come to the end unless this word is pushed uh, throughout the four corners of the earth, man. Oh, yeah, but yeah. part of that being a prophecy, you know, like his brother was getting into. Yeah, that's right. You know? uh, the luck has to be sealed. That's right. That's, that's, that's what's happening. That's right. So uh, this is Matthew 24, verse 6. And he shall hear of wars and, and rumors of war. See that ye be not shovel, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. That's right. The end is not yet because when, when you look at the whole thing that's going down, it's certain prophecy that have to fall in line before the end totally comes. Right. And one of those other prophecies is is the RFID chip. Mm -hmm. right. Right. That that has to be a must. That means that it must be a global wide shutdown of monetary systems. That's right. right. Okay. Right. And that's that's what's really going to press that chip. That's right. Okay. Right. One one economy can't be running and another one go down. That's not how it's going to work. Everything is going to shut down. That's right. And that's the way that the elites want it. Right. Okay? Right. So when that happens, then you really know that it's on and cooking then for real. And right. if I if I may add, uh ten years ago, two thousand seven, two thousand eight, you know, when the, when I seen the elders or when the elders was pushing on the um, YouTube, you know, that the R F I D chip is the mark of the beast, you had people stalking, you know, and they were preaching it before two thousand seven. I'm just yeah, saying they yeah. were on YouTube. But now yeah. it's evident. Right. You know, it's right. evident that this is the mark of the beast. You can, it's evident that this is the the the, the new currency uh, that the, the new elites are trying, the new world order, the, the elites are trying to push. Mm -hmm. You know, it's here and already in America. Mm -hmm. You got uh, companies taking it freely. You got uh, um, rappers already taking it, mm -hmm. making it, pushing it like it's the uh, new wave or a new craze. And you got throughout other countries, uh, Australia, Sweden. Yep. So mm -hmm. th this is another sign. Again, that prophecy, you know? Mm -hmm. So this is, and you said you can't buy or sell if you don't have that mark. And mm -hmm. that's exactly what that RFID represents, man. Yeah. If you don't have it, you ain't gonna be able to buy or sell. I mean, and, we're, we're, we're fastly approaching. Yeah. And tell them, yeah. That's right. Fastly right. approaching, right. man. The FRN is not gonna be anymore. Right. Okay. Right. And, and, and how is America gonna print the next round of money? Right. They right. can't right. because right. the gold is depleted. There's no right. gold over here. Right. And you think people are gonna shake hands with Donald Trump on on a promise? No, it's not happening like right. that no more, man. That's America right. has been fully exposed. Okay, they've been compromised to the to the utmost, man. That's right. Because their sins have reached up to heaven, oh, and man. because of that going on, that's why you want to get these pestilence and plagues over here. That's okay, right. because they didn't put themselves up on high. 
to a, a, a certain level where they think that they are gods, okay? That's when the Most High got to touch you then, man. Uh -huh. That's when he got to bring you down. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Verse 7, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdoms against, king against kingdoms. There you go. And uh -huh. there shall be famine and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. There you go. Uh -huh. they See, they, they lifted their self up so high. And you know what it says in Daniels, it says that the Most High makes a kingdom of men. Okay, you're not first. You're never first. You're that's the right. creature. Right. He's the creator. That's right. That's right. <laughs> okay, that's right. So you can't put yourself above the creator. But we know that you like your father, the devil. That's right. And right. and the, the lust of him, you, you will do. do. That's right. Okay, mm -hmm. and that's why the Most High got to smoke you. He gotta he gotta take you down, man. Um, that's, hey. that's what the Lord says. It's just uh, he says the earth is given unto the hands right, of the wicked. Right. Saying the earth wasn't taken, it so it was given. given. That's yeah. like the brothers show you that uh, the Lord rules in the kingdom of man. He given right. to the base person on earth, huh. and they'll rule. Huh. You know? hey, the Lord allows the devils to have the rulership of the earth so that they can show us what wickedness is. Yeah. So when we come to power, we will, we will, we will learn their ways, man. We will abide of this book. You know, right. this book is going to be the foundation of, of the world to come. You know? That's right, that's right. That's you know, right. We're not getting off topic because, you know, that's a part of the prophecy. Right. That's, right. 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 Okay? That's, right. that's a part of the prophecy that right. these heathens shall get above you very high. That's right. That's right. Okay? Right. And that's what you have did. Now, going back to the prophecies, mm -hmm. because you have did the will of the Heavenly Father, mm -hmm. now it's time for the, the lighter and the later end of mm -hmm. it to happen to you. The right. negative right. effects. Right. 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 Okay, right. the judgment part right. to happen to you. Right. And the pestilence and the hurricanes and the flood. Right. Hey, right. that's a part of it, man. That's right, bro. This that's is, a part of it, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Man, it's our brother, mm -hmm. sir. Yeah. This mm -hmm. is second, second Timothy 3 and 1. This know also. That in the last days perilous times shall come, mm -hmm. for men shall be lovers of their own selves, mm -hmm. covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful and unholy. Mm -hmm. Anybody can speak on that. Well, yeah. you know? and, uh, that's all in itself, man. And that scripture speaks for itself, man. Right. You know? Everyone's disenchanted. Everyone is into Esau's. Uh, uh, rulership and his wicked demises, man. Mm -hmm. Everyone's in a, in, a, in a devilish spirit. Like yeah. like when you read in um, Revelations 18 and 4, or 18 2, where it says, this is the inhabitations of, of yep. evil devils, right. yeah. foul spirit, man. Mm -hmm. right. So everyone is seeking themselves, seeking for their vain glory. That's right. All that going to come to naught because it's not the program of the Lord. The right. only thing that's going to happen, you won't get caught up up there. You're going to be caught naked, man, right. and, and you're asked out. Man, yeah. everyone's living in pride in these latter days, man, since all these technology, these there apps, they want to worry yeah. about themselves. It's all Self, pride. It's selfie city. Selfie city. city. You know, know what I'm saying? It's a covetous. You want other people's things. You lusting after uh, other mm -hmm. people's stuff. Vain. Mm -hmm. Disobey. Disobedient. Uh, Disobedient to parents. parents that right. could be to your Proud. actual parents. Right. Or even disrespecting the, the, the parents of the elders of the apostles of, of, uh, that the Lord set up, man. That's right. right. You know? Right. Mm -hmm. right. So these are all prophecies of the end times, man. The Lord is ready to judge this place, man. Right. And, and Esau, man. Yes. You know, Esau, because he is in the seat. He, he's like the seat of Satan. Huh. You know? And he, the Lord is going to destroy him, man. Right. 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 I, I got something. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 14. Wherefore he said, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead. And Yahweh Shamashiach shall give the light. Huh, he's talking about you, you, you Israelites that's in a dead state of mind, man. Mm -hmm. Wake up, man. Mm -hmm. The right. Lord will give you life, man, through the spirit, man, through this comfort, mm -hmm. through the knowledge and wisdom. And how is this wisdom mm -hmm. being pushed and manifest? Because out on the highways and hedges, man. Because right. wisdom cries without in the chief place of concord. Right. That's right. You know? It says, it says, see then that you walk circumspectly, not as foes, but as wise. We mm -hmm. the times because the days are evil. Hey, man, yeah, why circumspect, man? Be, keep your neck on a swivel, man. Pay attention, man. Mm -hmm. Stay in tune with these scriptures, man. You know? Because the times that's coming are evil, man. Mm -hmm. That's why it says, make no terror to turn to the Lord, mm -hmm. you know? And put out put it out all from day to day because in your security, you should be destroyed, man. And that's you putting off being in, in your evil days and you stay, yeah. staying wicked and being... Uh, uh, comfortable, yeah, a comfortable yeah. state of mind, huh. not paying attention to prophecy, huh. and not paying right. attention to the to the prophets that the Lord set up. Huh. You know, so you're gonna be destroyed in the Lord's wrath, man. That's right. Huh. That's what it is. Now get bring this on. Second Ezra chapter eight, verse fifty. 
for many for many great for many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. Many right. great miseries shall be done to them in the latter time because they have walked in great pride. That's what America promoted, you know, yeah. all over the world, man. Pride, the few, the proud, the marine. Everybody is full of pride in this place, man. That's you know, right. the scripture says, right. said pride goes before destruction. That's right. That's right. The Lord hit pride, man. That's, right. that's, what, that's right. one of the reasons that. The, the Lord gonna take his kingdom down, man. Right, you know, right. because Esau exalted himself as the most high. He wants to be like the most high, man. That's There's cool. no other nation that, that are more proud than the Edomites, man. That's you right. think that's your your inward touch that you have shall continue forever. You know, right. that's, that's how right. you know we have to end this thing. Because yeah. like you said, pride comes before destruction, man. That's right. And, and the world is full of pride right now. Right. Right. Like the brother said, the world is full of pride, man. Oh, yeah. That's how we know destruction is right around the corner. But right. you know? that scripture that says. Uh, same food spewing. So again, that growing have a country in 16. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Uh, you get that, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And you you equate it with yeah. everything that Edom's done. Well, I blew up this. Is that something <laughs> that you should be <laughs> proud, proud, proud of? of? Yeah. Right, 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 it should right. be a shame on you, man. And that shame uh, for glory. Yeah. That shame for glory. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. wicked yeah. doing this, man. to back you up, brother. I know you called out scripture. Salafi, bro. But Ecclesiasticus chapter 10. Uh, verse 12, the beginning of pride is when one parted from the Most High yeah. and his heart is turned away from his maker. Uh, uh, For pride is the beginning of sin, right. and he that has it shall pour out abomination. Right. And therefore right. the Lord brought upon them strange calamities yeah. and overthrew them utterly. There you go. There you go. So what's happening to, to Edom? Edom, America, Kingdom, America, Babylon the Great. Hey, it's because of this, that pride, man. Right. And then you got the epitome of America, which is Donald Eagle Face Trump walking around. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's evidence, man. Right. If you can't see the the writing on the wall, many, yeah. many. Tee Tee Right, right. Okay, it's yeah. Him. Hey, your kingdom has found one tint. That's it. Yeah. Right. That's it's right. this. The finger of the Lord is mm -hmm. on this place. That's right. Uh, right. When he put his finger on something, it ain't for 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 something good. It's to displace it, man. Can't. It's to right. take it out of this course, man. Can't. Hey, can't. The scripture said the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful That's kingdom. Right. That's the spirit. That's what I was saying. That's what I was saying. That's what I was saying. Yeah, that's right, exactly bro. what it is, man. Because the Lord is fed up with, with the with the with the uh, 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 wickedness that Edom has have been promoted ever ever since he came into power, man. He's fed up with it, man. He, right. he will not hold his tongue no more as touching the wickedness. So he's fed up. So he's about to bring judgment to this place, man. You know, because this place is a cesspool of wickedness. Right. This place has to be destroyed in order for righteousness to be to, re, to reign supreme on the earth, man. Right, right. right. so. so that right. wickedness reached into the heavens. That's right. right. I mean, you know, once you touch up there with that with, with the Most High State, man, you're done, man. It's done, man. You know, the Lord is only your clock is ticking, man. Mm -hmm. You got something, brother? Um, yeah, I'm bringing. This is on Second Ezra chapter six, verse twenty-two, and it says, "And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown, and the full uh, and the full storehouses shall be found empty, right. and a trumpet shall give a sound, and when every man hear it, they shall be suddenly afraid." You know, ain't gonna, yeah. be, ain't gonna mm -hmm. be no food to eat. Exactly. Ain't gonna be nowhere to go, nowhere to run. You ain't gonna go outside. You ain't gonna stay in your house. Right? Safe, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ain't gonna be safe right. from the judgment God, of the Lord. God. I mean, you ain't gonna be safe anyway, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. you know, just that, that spirit of fear is gonna be upon these people. That proud that proudliness that they have now, that spirit that they got, that's gonna deflate. That's gonna deflate. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be and it's gonna be changed with that spirit of fear. Y'all gonna be scared in that day, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you ain't gonna have nothing to eat. Your kids gonna be starving. You might even bite a hole in your kids behind. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's gonna get that serious. You know, so, hey. Yeah. Man, that's, mm -hmm. hey, that's part of prophecy. The yeah. famine's part of that, the yeah. plagues that he's gonna bring on the yeah. earth. Man, yeah. the pestilence, yeah. the famine, death mm -hmm. and destruction, man. Right? Race mm -hmm. war. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a lot of great miseries that's coming in these latter days. Right? Uh -huh. And right. that's what we're supposed to tell you, man. Yeah. And right. even if you. You're not an Israelite and you're watching this. You're scoffing. Hey, man, you're going to hear your judgment from the prophets, <laughs> the, uh, the service of the Lord. Right? Well, he says that in Isaiah. Isaiah, the, uh, what is it? 30, 30? It says, come near ye nations. 34. 34. Yeah, 34. Come near ye nations. Mm -hmm. Any people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, you want it, bro? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just bring it out real oh, okay. quick. Bro. Isaiah 34, verse 1. Come near ye nations to hear mm -hmm. and hearken 
ye people. Let the earth hear and all that is therein, That's the it, world right. and all things that come forth of it. Yeah. Right. Right. For the Lord, I mean, for the indignation of the Lord is upon all right. nations, right. and his fury upon all their armies. Right. He have utterly destroyed them, and he delivered them to the slaughter. Yeah. That's, right. Right. That's, That's right. Right. There's going to be a lot of blood. There's going to be a pool full of blood in the streets. Mm -hmm. and the Lord, the Lord, the Lord is coming. With, with that indignation, that righteous judgment, that righteous mm -hmm. anger, uh -huh. you know, that uh -huh. righteous anger on, upon the nations, man. Uh -huh. so uh -huh. If I may add too, bro, this, this has come me uh, the nations because this word has to be made known to all the world, man. You know, the scripture says, uh, um, for the uh, the, uh, the word must be published in all the world for the for a witness right. in the short day to come. Right. And that's exactly, man, because all the nation had a part in the downfall, man. So right. you're all gonna right. pay uh, collectively for what you have done to our people, right. you know. That's right. Mm. Yeah, going back to that crafty council, but mm. even um in the beginning of times, it was, it was, at one point, all you nations had is nation of Israel in slavery. Mm. The scripture says, he that led in captivity shall yeah, go in captivity. captivity. Right. He right. that killed the soul must be killed. So mm. best believe you, your judgment is coming. That's the point. The Lord is going to take y'all to the valley of Jehoshaphat. The right. what? Yahweh Shabbat means what? The Lord's decision. Right. He's going to judge y'all. He's going to plead for the nation of Israel. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Y'all going to die in World War Three, man. Huh. It's funny because, um, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's not. It's funny because, um, pretty much the woman I'm dealing with had a, s a sister's boyfriend. I used to talk to him about the truth, you know, trying to wake him up. And she just gave me a news yesterday saying that, oh, this nigga's gonna sign up for army, yeah, and join the <laughs> army. I mean, so he could pay for his kids and whatnot. I'm looking at this nigga like, she's gonna just die in the war, man, yeah, you know, right, right. Right. your wife's gonna be, yeah, Israelite, he's gonna be a widow. And the next man, the men of the Lord is going to come out and sweep it, you know? Yeah, I'm just saying. Hmm? And that's, that's, that's prophecy, bro. It's yeah. to cut you off. Hey, yeah. And that's e and you Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you want to fight uh, for Esau and join his army. Hey, man, there's going to be a time when our big brother, Yahweh Shah, like the brother mentioned, the battle of Yahweh Shapat is going to come. Mm -hmm. and, and when I just read that, it says gonna just the Lord in the nation is going to destroy all their armies. That's, that's going to be the American army, right. all these other armies, right. and right. Russia's. So the Lord's coming to get busy on all you uh, uh, armies, all you wicked nations, your military. Because he's right mm -hmm. there, two thirds. So you want to join the hand with the wicked, you're going to be thrust through. That's right, right. Because ultimately, we wait on the Lord because he is our army. He's huh? the one that can back us up. That's he's right. the one going to deliver us and protect us. That's right. You know, rise up to the prey. Huh? He's, you know, he's going to assemble the nation. Yeah, yeah, so we got to wait upon him, like the brother was saying. When you read, when you read okay. Joel, the third chapter, mm -hmm. and then you go into verse 2. Mm -hmm. Okay, it tells you this is this is the reason. All right, and when you start at one, it says Joel three and one. For behold, in those days and in that time, and I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. So that's, right, bro. That, that's he's talking about. I'm taking them out of them, out of the hole that you got on them, yeah. and they're going to be mine again. That's right. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehovah's path mm -hmm. and will plead with them there for my people mm -hmm. and for my heritage Israel, mm -hmm. whom they have scattered among the nations as part right. of my land. That's and right. and yeah, may just add, hey, that just shows that the Lord is, is coming to save us, to deliver us, and we're going to be bringing back to the marriage, man. Yeah. And when you go with the word marriage is to, um, to be joined together. Yeah. Right? Right, See, right. this is this is how we the, we know that we have to wait on the Lord, man, because this is part of prophecy. He's gonna only he's gonna be the only uh, power to fight for us, man. Uh -huh. His apple in his eyes, man. Right. You know, so that's how we know that we're supposed to be patient and, and just stay spiritually in this path, man, because. We already know the judgment. Yeah, yeah. Like Vladimir Putin uh, quoted before, he said the prophecy's yeah, on his side, side right. but deep and down, the prophecy's on our side. Right. Right. You right. know, right. And right. the part the part that he was saying was was, was, was to, right. to, to destroy, destroy. the destroyer because destroy. his name means the way of of prophecy. Come on, Putin. Come on. That's his, yeah. that's what his name yeah. means. Come on. So that's why he said I have prophecy on my side, and um, that part of Edom. It's to destroy it, man. That's right. right. Okay? They're going to come together with uh, uh, the Median Persian Empire once more. They're That's going right. to team up, and they're going to wreak havoc on this place right here, That's man. Right. That's right. And they're going to give them other nations mm -hmm. hell over there in that sandbox with them. Mm -hmm. Okay? And they mean business, man. Mm -hmm. I'm right. pretty sure everybody has seen the movie uh, 300. The Persian Empire was vast, man. That's right. Yeah. So when they get busy, when they get ramped up, they get ramped up. The only one that's going to be able to stop that is your house shot. That's right. Okay? 
Yeah. Especially the Arabs country, Arabs country, they have perpetual hatred for 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 the, for Babylon, man. Yeah. Hey, yeah. for what you have done to the people, man. You destroy the people, and you don't take these people. Remember everything that you did to them. Yeah. Yeah. When you say that they have the hatred for Babylon, America, it's really for the white man, right. man. Because yeah. they don't care about the the Negroes, Latinos, yeah. man. Of course, come on. They know that they know who we are. Yeah, they, know. they know who yeah. we are. Yeah. But it's yeah. just they hate the so-called white man. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 And it's just and it's plain as it's 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 just easily. Uh, you can easily see it in these scriptures, man. Yeah. You can get to understand in the scriptures because all nations hate Esau, man. He's the right. devil, man. Well, yeah. first and foremost, yeah. the Lord hates Esau. Yeah. Yeah. That's, right. That's, That's it. Right. That's right. it. Right. So the Lord the spirit of every, yeah. every other yeah. nation that hates Esau. Right. You know? yeah. That's why this is our high men this morning on the heathen. The high men they despise. Yes. So yes. everywhere you go, right. the, the, the nation hates you. Why? Because you kill all the nations, man. You go oh. around, you, you, you stole the national resources, you kill them, you destroy their land. Hey, they have a reason to hate you because you're the devil. That's yeah. right. All right. Yeah. No, no, no. But if you're gonna bring this up, just back out, brothers up, man. Um, this is um. I'm starting at six. This is Habakkuk chapter two, verse six. Right. Shall not all these take a parable against him and a taunting proverbs against him, saying, "Woe to him that increased that which is not his, mm -hmm. and how long to him that laid himself with thick clay?" Hey, mm -hmm. hey that, the, the thick clay. That's that's your debt. Right. Your, your, your your financial debt is onto the roof, man. That's it. Right. What is it? Seven trillion dollars? Yeah. Seven. It's only It's higher than that. It's higher than that. It's more than all those clocks. Hey, yeah. right. The only one you can see is the one that's online, but. Like when they had it at uh, other places in the world, mm -hmm. they they took them down. Yeah, yeah. Because it's a shame, shame shameful yeah. thing, man. Yeah. Are you be okay. the greatest, but you in debt, debt. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's a, that's a that's a pestilence in itself, man. That's right. right. Mm. That's right. Okay. And people don't know that. Like all these jakes going and fight the army for that GI bullshit, the GI bills or whatever. Right. Hey, that money is worthless. You fighting for free. Right. Especially right. after you want to get the microchip. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a spirit, man. You're playing for free. Right. Oh, and the military, you got to take it. Yeah. 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 You got to take it. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 You're going to see in fire and brimstone. The indignation yeah. that's that's right. that as well. But right. that's why he had them all gathered in that one place. Because right. when he, look, that's going to be the biggest point of, of explosions, everything. The chariots going to be going there. Work over there. So you get what I'm saying? You know, in the final yeah. scene of the movie, yeah. Yeah. it's always the, the thrilling, the best part, the man. Climax. Yeah. The climax, man. Yeah. But this is the main biggest event. one right here. This, this is the, the main, main event. event. The main that, event. That, that's, that's part of the main event. That's like the. the that's the, the leading up. What's yeah. that? The, the, the card before the main event the comes. Before yeah. the storm. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. see what I'm saying? So that's the big card. Yeah. That's the little card. You know what I'm saying? Like if you had a boxing match, you know they had these little matches first. Well, the Valley of Jehoshaphat. Is going to be the little match, okay? Yeah. But it's the big match because the Lord, He's going to zap this place real quick. Mm -hmm. But then all of a sudden, yeah. those devils over there, they're going to be like, oh, fuck this, man. Since we losing, fucking blow up America. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking shoot, shoot, blow yeah. that shit yeah. up. Yeah. Fuck yeah. it up. Then. That's right, Connie. You know what I'm saying? That's right, Connie. And then the Lord going to say, yeah, I thought you see it my way. I'm going to help you out <laughs> with that. Boom. Yeah. Yeah.